4100, or stopping at any Valley Branch. Valid for single-family owner-occupied residences in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Other special programs are available for New York homeowners. Program restrictions may apply. Visit valleynationalbank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Weather forecast today is in basically two words. Warm, sunny, below a high of 89. Right now it's sunny at 76 in Midtown, humidity 59%, variable winds at 5 miles an hour. Tomorrow again, mostly sunny, high temperature about 90 with just a little bit more humidity. WCBS News Time 935. New York City is expanding its fleet of electric vehicles. We hear about it from WCBS 880's Peter Haskell. The city already has the largest municipal fleet of electric vehicles in the country. But with the addition of these 70 cars, vans, and trucks, there's now a total of 430 of them. Mayor Bloomberg says they're just getting started. Our goal is replacing a significant portion of light-duty vehicles, which make up nearly half of the almost 27,000 vehicle city fleet. Bloomberg says these vehicles are not only environmentally friendly, they'll save the city money. With the mayor in Aspen, Peter Haskell, WCBS, ADD News. In Los Angeles, Armageddon is getting underway. That's what they're calling it. Authorities have shut down a 10-mile stretch of Interstate 405. For the next 50 hours, crews are removing the 50-year-old Mulholland Bridge. L.A. County Supervisor Zev Yaroslavsky advises drivers not to drive. If everybody needs our advice, we should get up on Monday morning, and this whole weekend will have been in our rearview mirror, and it'll be just fine. Monday morning is when the work is scheduled to be finished. Carmageddon even had Jay Leno joking on the Tonight Show. This weekend, the 405 freeway is going to be closed for 53 hours. 53 hours. Kelsey Grammer's had marriages that didn't last that long. And our weather in 60 seconds. WCBS News Time, 937.